Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you with another Let's Play episode of Fueled by Insanity. So, just so you guys know, I have, I'm back from a re recovered uh, computer crash. What happened is that my primary OS drive died, so I spent all pretty much most of yesterday reinstalling Windows and getting most of my uh, minimal data back I had on my OS drive. I try and keep my OS drive, you know, as clean as possible. But anyway. We're here. I'm back. Let's do another video. Enjoy. <clears throat> All right. Take my little timer right here. Okay. Anyway, after finishing my breakfast, I go back to my room to check on Ted. I find him on the bed, lying on his belly, reading a book. Still reading that? Hmm? That book. Weren't you reading it yesterday? Nah, I finished that story. This is a new one. Oh. Ted sits up and places a bookmark in his book before setting it off to the side. I take the opportunity to sit down on the bed next to him, leaning back with my hands behind my head. How'd your talk with Darren go? It was okay, I guess. Actually, that's not true. I suck at talking to him. What happened? Not really anything bad. I appreciate him and everything he's doing to help us. I just suck at showing that. Can you... can you not just tell him that you appreciate him? When you put it like that, it sounds so easy. That's because it is, it is easy. It doesn't take much to thank someone for helping you. <sighs> yeah. It would be easy if I didn't freeze up every time. Oh, I just remembered something. Hmm? Darren said we could use his computer to submit applications and stuff. Should we, uh, go do that? Upon hearing my question, Ted stretches and then lies back on the bed, laying his head against the pillow and pulling the covers over himself. <laughs> Ted? Maybe later. What? You're not going to pressure me into being responsible? Are you wanting me to? I... I mean, I'm just not used to other people being lazier than me. I wouldn't go that far. I'll start on it later, just not right now. I just want to take my mind off of stuff. Same. I lie down next to him, staring up at the ceiling. It's a lot to deal with. Huh? Having everything laid out for me, my future, my goals, my job, where I'd live, family life, all that stuff. Then because of one stupid thing, it's all gone. Ted rolls over to face me, keeping his head comfortably centered on his pillow as he does. I'm thankful in some ways, I guess. I like the freedom that comes with not being tied down to family. I can do whatever I want. But I don't know what I want to do. Just just be like that and have fun. Hmm? Ted gives a deep sigh, making it difficult for me to tell how he's feeling. Three years. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I was so afraid of trusting anyone after the way my family reacted to me coming out that I didn't even try to make any friends. The only reason I forced myself to keep talking to you was because I felt desperate. So you only became my friend because you were... desperate. N n not what I meant. So then, becoming my friend stopped you from being desperate. I mean, yeah, kinda. Wait, really? I was just kinda joking. To be honest, I just figured I'd be alone the rest of my life. I think I lucked out, though. Both you and Darren have been good to me so far. Yeah, well, you helped me, and so I helped you. Ted rolls onto his back again, adjusting his pillow and fidgeting under the covers a bit. As he does, a stray thought crosses my mind. Uh-oh. What's he doing under there? Oh! Ah! Let's, uh, quick save this real quick. I feel embarrassed as soon as I think about it, knowing my mind's probably playing tricks on me right now. No, Jeffrey, don't lewd the fuck. <laughs> Oh, I love that! Okay, now I wish Ted didn't have all the covers. I have nothing left to cover. You okay? Huh? Yeah. Uh, well, why? I look back at over at Ted, realizing his hands are back on top of the covers again. You went quiet. I wasn't sure if I said something wrong, or... Oh. It's not what it looks like! So you're telling me you don't have a boner right now. Why? Why do you have to say that? I, uh, I, uh, 
Hey, don't worry about it. We're guys. It happens. Thankfully for me, Ted manages not to make it weird. It's nothing to feel embarrassed about. I know, I just feel... Blah. <laughs> Here you are, opening up to me about stuff, about things that suck, and yet my dumb body reacts like this. To be fair, it's, that's not uncommon. Huh? Ted sits up, propping himself up against the headboard. Meanwhile, I take the opportunity to grab some of the blankets to cover myself with. It's hard to explain, but... I'm opening up to you because I trust you to not use anything I'm saying against me. Maybe you just really like knowing that someone trusts you. You trust me even though we've only known each other less than a week. I thought you said you had trouble trusting people. Well, I do have trouble with trust, but... It's complicated. All I really know is that I feel comfortable around you. I also might have a crush on you, so you getting a heart on for me is kind of cute. Sorry if I'm being too direct. No, it's okay. I just, uh... Yeah, hell yeah. Let's do it! Loot the fox. Loot the fox! I think I might have a crush on you, too. Oh? I, uh... Hmm... I find it difficult to find the words to say anything, suddenly feeling a lot more bashful than I expected to. Yes? Ted, meanwhile, sticks his tongue out, taking the opportunity to tease me. I don't know, I just... I like you. I can tell. That's why you're hiding yourself with the blanket. Wow! Am I wrong? No. You know, you're adorable when you're flustered. His words only served to make my cheeks burn even more, so I grabbed my pillow from behind me to cover my face with. Aw, you don't have to hide your face. Yes, I do. I can feel Ted moving around slightly, and I'm unsure of what he's doing, until I start feeling him poke my pillow, aiming for my nose. <laughs> Boop. Stop. Okay. Did he actually just... Did he actually stop just because I said to stop? I thought he would tease me more. I didn't mean for you to actually stop. What? I said I didn't mean to... I can't hear you from behind the pillow. He's doing hes doing this on purpose. I let out a huff and then lower my pillow down, only to be met by Ted poking my nose. Gotcha again. Ted lets out a silly smile, seemingly proud of himself for his accomplishment. So, question. And you can stop me if this is too forward. Let's quick save again. Yes? Just out of curiosity, are you a top or a bottom? Oh, God, that is a duel. That is a forward question. Jesus. Oh, red alert. Red alert. What? You don't have to answer. I'm just, you know, curious. Is this where we find out that Ted has, like, an, like a 10-inch horse cock or something? <laughs> Ted's a dom. Like, super dom. Yeah, I think that question might be a bit too forward right now. Alright, that's fair. You don't have to answer. Just know that I may end up thinking about it later. Wow, and here I thought you were pure and innocent. Yeah, well... It's hard not to be attracted to someone who's so cute. Thanks, I guess. Though I don't really see myself as all that cute. I do, and my opinion is the one that matters. So you have to deal with it. You're cute. That phrasing... I know it couldn't have been intentional, but his words end up bringing back memories of Jesse. I know Ted probably didn't mean to imply that my opinion doesn't matter, but still. Fucking hell. Can I move past Jesse already? You okay? Did I, did I say something wrong? Apparently, I still must suck at hiding how I'm feeling because Ted picks up, picks up on it right away. It's okay. I just, just reminded me of something. He didn't do anything wrong. You sure? Yeah. If you say so. I lie down, facing away from Ted, frustrated in myself for ruining such a good moment. Is that a VR headset? I swear to God, there are like dicks, just random frickin' bad dragon toys just laying around this house. Then again, that could be a thermos. That could be a red thermos with a black top. That's a mouse. That's a subwoofer? This is like shots of like the dev's house or that or like the house of the uh 
of someone who works who works on the game. As the day progresses, Ted and I eventually head to the living room to watch some more TV, neither of us feeling up to getting any actual work done. I'm content to leave Ted in charge of what we watch. I've never liked having control of the remote anyway. I always feel like I'll be harshly judged if I choose the wrong show. The show we're watching now is some Ghost Hunter show. It's one of the most cheesy ones where some people go and explore abandoned buildings and talk about the creepy atmosphere, yet nothing ever actually happens. I'm not buying any of it, but Ted's eating it all up. <laughs> no, 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 don't go in there! One of the Ghost Hunters opens a creaky door before running off and screaming. There's something in there! The cameraman, meanwhile, continues filming the open room, the video focusing on what appears to be, have, to be a poorly edited ghost rapidly spinning around on top of a bag of garbage. Ah! Ted latches onto me, holding tightly, scared of the low-budget CGI ghost. You do realize it's not real, right? Yeah, I just, uh... You were just looking for a reason to hug me, weren't you? Heh. <laughs> yeah, th th that's it. A loud thumping sound plays from the TV, startling Ted again. Ah! Ted turns away from the TV, tightly hugging me with his muzzle resting against my shoulder. On one hand, I feel bad for him, being so scared of the show we're watching. On the other hand, I feel glad that I'm able to help him comfort him, even if it's over a bad, staged ghost show. Shortly afterwards, I hear the sound of our front door, which only spooks Ted yet again. Ah! What's that sound? Darren looks so unamused. Darren steps inside just to see Ted tightly hugging me on the couch. Are you sure you two aren't? Upon hearing Darren's voice, Ted lets go of me, turning around to face him. He seeks flustered. I, uh... The, the, the show... Ted motions towards the television only to realize a commercial is playing, so Darren has no clue what he's talking about. Darren walks around and plops down on his chair, resting a small shopping bag on his lap. Oop. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. It's good to be making videos again after my little brief pause the other day. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell until the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!